Here's my dual locked around box update for April 19th, 2015. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I probably should have. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, not much has changed since uh, the last time I did one of these updates. I uh, still got my OCZ 600 watt power supply, OCZ, as those of you overseas like to call them. Um, I switched out my 550Ti. With the huge Accelero heatsink on it. And the ram sinks and all that stuff. Switch it out for a 650Ti boost. Uh, which my brother was not using anymore. As he has recently gotten a 750Ti. Which is pretty much the same exact performance as a 650Ti boost. But um, uses a lot less power. Which is what he needs because he's over at my grandma's house with his computer. And uh, <clears throat> he's watching her half the day and uh, he's at school the rest of the day. And he keeps his computer on 24-7. Even though I tell him that he really shouldn't. Because he's going to bring up my grandma's power bill that way. So, uh, yeah, there it is. It's a uh, 650Ti boost, 2 gig, uh, DDR5, GDDR5, I'm sorry. Um... <clears throat> Still got my uh, Auto G2ZS, love you baby, uh, USB card with a USB cord wire that goes all the way up to a webcam. Now, this webcam's purpose, because it has LEDs inside it, and it, it's, uh, the, the driver pretty much calls it a professional financial camera, it's a little dusty. There. Um, what this camera's purpose is, is for me to be able to pop onto the webcam and see how dusty the front fan is getting. <clears throat> I can gauge exactly when I need to, or I actually tell when I need to open the computer without actually opening the computer to check to see if it needs to be dusted. And yeah, it does need to be dusted a little bit out. That's the entire reason why it's out here. Um, it just reset on me a little while ago. Not exactly sure why, so... One of the reasons I pulled this out is to dust it out to see if that helps any. I doubt it's going to. Um, here, let me see if I can get the, uh, without dropping my camera, let me see if I can get the, uh, the PSU grill filter is clean. Ish. Ish. <clears throat> so I won't pull that off just yet. Um, I have to run some compressed air through this, I think. So that's going to be the next thing, is I'm going to have to take this with me over to the um, gas station and just uh, run some compressed air through it. That way I get it all nice and cleaned up. Um, <clears throat> when I'm done with that. I guess that'll be the end of that. Um I'm sorry doing this in preparation because I'm replacing finally. Oh, um, I also replaced the original 500 gig hard drive here. And you know, there's something here. I'm oh, sorry, I replaced the 200 gig hard drive with a 500 gig hard drive. And I just did a, a clone and it's fine. Um, <clears throat> but because this one is getting a little long in the tooth for uh, for years and uh, runtime, I'm going to replace this. This is a 250 gig Seagate 7200.7. Excuse me. I think it's a dot seven. Anyways, um, I'm gonna replace that, and uh, I've got a two terabyte drive here, replacing a Western Digital Green two terabyte that I had in my last video. This one I actually got for free in in lieu of the dead or dying WD Green. Um, <clears throat> it was just gonna get scrapped anyway, so that's that. Um, also in here is a little uh, high point raid card. Uh, it's supposed to be PCIX. Has four uh, serial ATA uh, jacks on it, four set of jacks. And I was thinking about using this for something, um, but it's only connected via PCI, so I'm only limited to a hundred something megabytes a second through the bus, I think. So <coughs> megabytes or megabits. Megabytes. 
I'm only limited to 100 something megabytes a second through the bus, which is okay for that thing because all I'm using it for is storage. Um, so I also have the uh, Scythe Ultra Case fan in there. I'm going to be replacing that, I think. Or at least removing it. I really don't have a use for such a fan of that caliber in this anymore. And it's just sitting on like uh, 5 volts or 7.5 volts. So I really should consider removing it. Because it's getting pretty dusty. And it's wasting space that I could be using for other things. So, yeah. Um... So I'm going to take this over to the gas station. I'm going to uh, spritz it out, and uh, we'll be good from there. All right, all right. Next. Okay, and we are clean. So I went over to the gas station, and it is uh, a free air pump to pump your tires and such. And it has just enough pressure if you give a small little spritz, small little spritz, spritz, spritz of air to actually dust out computers so that's what i've been doing is i'll take them over to the gas station instead if it's still daylight out because once the sun sets then they take the hose off the air pump and that's bad because then i can't do jack shit about it ha <laughs> um <clears throat> so i uh, just finished having some lunch had some bratwurst and uh first time using the roll this uh year so it turned out okay. Um, I've had some thoughts about it. I'm probably going to remove the Scythe Ultra case in lieu of putting some more hard drives up there. Or maybe an optical drive of some kind. Only because I kind of didn't need one and now I kind of do. But if I really need an optical drive, I've got a USB one around here someplace. It's a little USB white Memorex one. Is it right here? Yeah, it's over there. I can't reach it. Forget it. So, um, yeah, that's the stuff so far. I mean, nothing has really changed. The graphics card changed. Uh, the one hard drive changed. The second hard drive changed. I moved a couple of the drives around to match which uh, brand goes with what. Except for this guy, because this is a Seagate, and that's sort of why I'm replacing it. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out if I want to replace this cable to match. I have over here someplace a black uh, ribbon like this coiled IDE cable that would match, so that it's not two different colors. However, I was just outside earlier taking some pictures, so it's going to see, stay that way in the pictures. But I want to replace this cable so that it matches the other black cable. I've already removed the zip tie that was across here, and it, there's still marks on the cable right there. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to tighten it all back up again. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the front's all nice and clean again now, sort of. There's still some dust in there, not much I can really do about it. Um, all the fans are nice and happy and clean, and sparkly fresh and fr including the two front fans up here that uh, cool my hard drives down that was a big pain uh the two up here are okay as well they didn't have that much dust however there was still some dust bunnies flopping around in here uh when i got done so what i did was when i was done i just held on to the thing while it was blowing and i just w quickly went back and forth back and forth back and forth so uh it kind of got rid of all the dust bunnies like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, that's the end of this video, I guess. Just a quick little update to show the inside of it and uh, everything that's been going on with it. Um, I've had some issues with uh, some hard, some hardware going wherever. So I've found out that I have to have the Auto G2s yes in the bottom slot always, or else uh, there's a dress issues that happen because the enforce is a piece of shit um the usb card has to always be above the sound card and this slot can be what for whatever the intern oh yeah there's a dual U uh that's something else i forgot when i did this there's a dual uh gigabit uh intel uh server adapter in here uh pci express and 
<clears throat> that's a good thing to note because it's a hell of a lot better than the shitty Enforce and the shitty Broadcom on board, which seem to be giving me a whole lot of problems. And for some reason, there's also some uh, CPU overhead, which there really shouldn't be. So I'm wondering why that is. So for the moment, they're um, disabled in the BIOS, and I'm just using these, which are working okay. They, uh, in fact, they work really well. So yeah, I have two Intel uh, network controllers in a AMD system. Funny enough. Oh yeah, and my Zelmans are all nice and clean. Oh yes. So... Yep, everything looks pretty clean, uh, pretty ship shape. There's still some dust in spots, but that's something that I can't fix just by some uh, using some uh, human horsepower blowing. You know, <sighs> see, not much at all. So I think I'm pretty much set. There's not going to be any sort of need for anything else. I think I think I'm pretty much all well and set. It's going to be interesting. Once I get this back up to see what the temperatures are at and see how much of a difference the dusting made. I expect it not to be too much of a difference because the only uh, side effect from dusting this out has not, it hasn't unblocked any of these fins. These fins were all nice and clean. So I'm guessing that it's going to uh, decrease like the board temps and maybe the GPU temp just a little bit. Uh, the GPU temp was uh, slowly rising as the days went by up to its current uh, place where it was at 33 degrees Celsius. It was idling around 30. I've just been watching it, and it's been going up and up and up, a little bit by a little bit, uh, just as the days go by whenever it's idle. So I'm wondering if uh, that's going to change anything. Uh, I sort of wanted to think about uh, putting the big heatsink on this card, because this card is a hell of a lot better than the 550 Ti. But I really honestly don't think that I need to. I think it'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to see about getting GTA 5 on here and seeing how that runs. I'd be very interested to see how my two uh, Opterons handle it. Because they're like almost nine years old now. May 2005 is when these things were uh, brand new. So be interesting to see how well a nine-year-old computer runs GTA 5, I guess. Well a decent nine-year-old computer with 12 gigs of ECC DVR and, uh, yeah, DDR1, and uh, a decent graphics card from just a couple of years ago, and some other stuff. So, yeah, um, if you have a dual CPU system, such as this, or an Intel board, or something along those lines, leave me a comment. If you have a video about it, pass me a link. I'd love to see it. Dual CPU systems, I think, are the most sexiest computers in the world. Only because you have the ability to have two heat sinks inside, and it just looks badass. Um, people do a whole bunch of crazy stuff with them, like uh, like a dual water block sort of thing for water cooling, and I think they just look really neato. So if you have a system like that, just leave me a comment and let me know. If you like mine, hey, leave me a comment as well. That'd be pretty, pretty cool, because... I have no idea if anybody even, I, I mean, for all I know, uh, you guys could be like laughing behind my back for all I know. So let me know. Uh, gotta get that ultra case out somehow. That thing's just zip tied in too. So uh, that should be easy. Just snip, snip, go on the other side, snip, snip, and, uh, pop in something else. Probably, uh, I'm thinking about a, hmm, I really don't know. I want to put in a CD drive of some kind, but it's going to be a problem since I don't have a whole lot of ports. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a CD drive in on the RAID card for now and see how that runs. If it'll even boot with that installed, because I, I, I need, I really, really need a CD drive and not the USB portable one that takes up two slots and half the time doesn't work because... Enforce USB stuff is a piece of shit. Hey, but that's why I have that card. But oh wait, I can't reach that card from the other side. Ooh, there's the problem. So yeah, that's the end of this. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Or you'll see me next time. I think.